This is going to be the best video you have ever seen about dating a Filipina. We will be exploring what Filipinas like, what they value, what they really think about foreigners, what they expect, and the differences between dating a traditional Filipina compared to a modern Filipina. Okay, first, let's look at what Filipinas like and don't like. This morning, I binge-watched interviews, podcasts, and other forms of content about dating in the Philippines, so you don't have to. It is clear that not all Filipinas are interested in the same thing, but there are lots of patterns that come up, especially on the subject of dating foreigners. Filipinas tend to like a guy who is open and confident, but also a guy who can take care of himself, and this doesn't necessarily mean a six-pack or being able to run a marathon. No, 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 no. It simply means making sure that we don't smell bad and we don't dress like a dog. The interesting thing about the Philippines is that the country is the same temperature as hell, so it's very easy to start sweating. Basic hygiene may not be a problem in the Western world, but compared to countries like the Philippines, you really have to make an effort to keep on track with hygiene. In fact, one of the biggest turn-offs for Filipino women is bad hygiene. When it comes to their likes, you will find that Filipinas have different preferences, but what I was really wondering is not so much their likes or dislikes, as this has been covered by many creators before, but instead tapping into what they really fear, and finding the hurdles that would stop the girl of your dreams from dating you. Well, actually, the biggest fears are interesting. There are some Filipinas who fear judgment from other Filipinos when dating a foreigner. There are not many videos on YouTube talking about this subject, however, this seems to be common. Some believe that they may be judged as a gold digger. Uh, at one time, we have all been worried about how we will be perceived by people, so it's understandable, but in my experience, I've noticed that this tends to be more of the younger crowd rather than the older crowd. Oh, here we go, here we go. The next fear some have is the fear of a big well, you know what I'm saying here. Now, this may seem like a joke, <laughs> but I promise you this is a genuine fear for some who haven't dated a foreigner before. Strangely enough, this actually falls back onto the fear of being judged. Some guys would see a Filipina with a foreigner and joke that she must like the big men. Now, this is not anything crazy, but I can see why this may be a concern for women, and also to add, all of this is subjective. So, now that we know some basics of what Filipinas like, what they don't like, and their fears, let's take this up a level. What do Filipinos think about foreigners? This can sometimes depend on the experience of a Filipina, but most Filipinas see having a relationship in the Philippines with a foreigner to be different. Different is often fun and exciting, and of course, many have grown up with the idealization of foreigners thanks to Hollywood. But some do see foreigners as being a little crazy here and there, but that's to be expected with different cultures. Nevertheless, if you plan to date in the Philippines, what do Filipinos really value? If you find a decent woman who's got a good job, a great personality, and looks amazing, it's not going to be the easiest thing to date her. We're not talking about somebody who you meet for a few weeks here and just have some fun. We're talking about that one unique woman. First of all, unless you're hanging around those naughty nightclubs, it is unlikely that a Filipina will talk to you first, so you need to bring your A-game. I know a lot of guys who focus 100% of their effort on online dating. Dating online in the Philippines is a handy tool, but it is not everything. If me and you go to the mall, I guarantee you that we will get more dates in one hour than five whole days using the dating apps. And surprisingly, many women appreciate a friendly conversation. If you are dating an older woman, the attention that she can gain from a friendly chat can make her whole day. Most guys just rely on dating apps in the Philippines, but if you really want that girl of your dreams, you're gonna have to find her at an event, a park, a gym, or a coffee shop, and not on Tinder at three o'clock in the morning. Filipinas also value humor. Filipinos love to laugh, and they really do have an amazing sense of humor. If you can make a Filipina laugh, you have already won. But what about the location in the Philippines? Does that impact dating? 
If you are going to be dating a woman in Manila, you may find it slightly different compared to dating in Davao. The cities in the Philippines are huge and there are hundreds of thousands of people. So in general, whatever you're looking for, you'll be able to find in any kind of city. However, on average, you will find that people in the south are slightly more conservative compared to people in the north. You may also find that women have not had much experience with foreigners or men in general. So you might want to take things a little bit slowly if you're dating a conservative woman. And it's very common for conservative women to expect you to be a gentleman. On the other side of the coin, dating somebody who has a slightly modern viewpoint is similar to that of what it is like dating at home, but it is not uncommon for these kind of relationships to move very quickly. Now, I don't know what you're looking for, but what I do know is that respect and honesty can go a long way as an expat in the Philippines. The thing is, you're a cool guy and you've got a lot of stuff going for you, so don't lay it all out in the open. Remember, you're not easy. She's got to work for it as well. But, ow, are there any warnings? Well, I'm going to pretend that you asked this question so I get a chance to answer it. Yes, there are several. I don't know what it is about the Philippines, but time seems to increase very quickly. You can be talking to someone one day and the next day you're married with two kids. So this is great if that's what you're looking for, but you might be surprised just how quickly you can get into a serious relationship in the Philippines. So don't be afraid to take your time. The next warning I would give is about people in general. If you've watched any of my videos before, before, you're a legend, but also you'll know that I'm a big fan of Filipinos. But unfortunately, there are lots of scammers and gold diggers. In dating psychology, it is very common for men to talk about their social status and money as a somewhat subconscious flex, but this may not be the best idea in the early days of dating. There are also many expats who have been married to Filipinas for over 20 or 30 years or even more so it can work out well. But there are always nightmare stories, and unfortunately, these are the ones that tend to get blown up a lot because they do make very clickable videos. But the reality is, unless you're purposefully going for the crazies, most Filipinos you will meet are genuinely awesome people. 